Is this thing on? Hello? The heck is up, everybody? Can you hear me? We're, uh, we're over back on uh, the old other, other platform here. Don't know if everything transferred good. I'm about to find out, though. It's friggin' Friday! I'm on vacation! Let's friggin' go. Look, I can do this. What's up, Mike Franklin? Donnie? Can you hear me, though? We good? We can hear you? I can hear you. I can hear all of you. All of you guys pre-gaming in here super early. Johnny Utah. That's John. Starting off with some Wilderness Trail. Let's go. Doug freaking H. Everyone at the Friday at Fred's crew. Let's go. They're having a friggin' party over there at the Fred's crew right now. An absolute party. Lone Wanderer. What's up, Noah? Drinking some uh, Diggle Tabasco. Looks like that's what he's gonna drink next. Josh friggin' Randall. Lord Schlong. Sh Lord, Sh <laughs> Lord Schlong is over at Friday at Fred's right now. What the heck? Carlo. Friggin' Mac. Aiden. Was in here for a little bit. Guess he has to go. Kilco, give me Z whiskey. What's up, friggin' Kilco? Sugar Kitty, on his way to Fred's right about now, I imagine. Old Man Joe, good to friggin' see ya. Cameron Lochner, let's get down with it. Let's go. Chris Uzalencia, in here super early, pre gaming. It's friggin' always. The dogs. Tony, what? Tony, two toes. Trev, before you ask, have all of my toes. Okay. I mean, there are people out there. I've seen them without their toes. I, you know, things happen. I don't know. Friday at Fred's with Doug. Mallory Kiefer. Cheers for Friday at Fred's. I'm telling you. Everyone at the Friday at Fred's crew just needs to check in. I know there's a lot of you. Cool running. Good to friggin' see you. Richie. Whoa. Richie Z. What is up, Richie? Good to see ya. Oh my gosh. It's freaking The Claw with Miss... Mrs. Claw is watching too this evening. Friggin' on vacation. If you guys didn't know... I'm sorry I missed you guys last Friday. I'm so glad to be back. But I was out and about with the one and only The Claw. We were having a good old time last weekend. There's DC. Let's get friggin' Schlammer DC. Austin Feltz. Let's go. Who else we got? John friggin' T. Good to friggin' see all of you. Everyone get in here. Everyone get something in your glass. Um, really, you know, so tomorrow I'm leaving for vacation, boarding a, an airplane and friggin' flying to old Cancun to drink margaritas in the friggin' sand. So tonight we're just, uh, and then there's no Matt Madness tonight. He's just doing a regular old live stream. So we're just going to be hours of drinking together, hanging out, chatting amongst each other. Having a good old time. I got some new bottles I'm going to be getting into. It's going to be a good friggin' night. Rick Rose. The friggin' legend. Chris Tats. How are you this Aussie Saturday morning? Saturday morning down under already. I wish it was Saturday morning already. Melissa. Look at this. Melissa Heyman. Tampa crew checking in with the Friday at Fred's crew. Look at them. The Friday at Fred's crew reaches the entire South. They're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. There's Janelle. She was in here nice and early too, pre-gaming. Let's freaking go, Janelle. Fred loves the shirt. I love the shirt. It's it's great. It is great. Oh, there's Rick. Enjoy your vacation. Picked up two bottles of old fits. What? 
Man, I, when I went to Bardstown, they didn't have old fits. I was going to do it. Oh, hey, so DC. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit flimmy. I don't know if you guys could tell. I've had a, a bit of a cold the past couple of days. That The cold's trying to freaking get me for the vacation, but I'm not letting it. So, since we're over on this other doohickey, um, it's the other link down in the in the description. And um, FYI, I hope it works, but we did a little upgrade. We up we upped our fireworks show budget. You know, before we were shooting bottle rockets. Now we got the big guns. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Mr. Whiskey Shits? Good to freaking see you. And who, who, did I see Hindo? Sure did. Hindo, what the heck is up? Let's go, Braves. Alex Bruyer. Oh, there's more Friday at Fred's. Look at that. Martha, come on. Everybody. It's okay. I, I mean, I never announce it until I see you post it. <laughs> It's confusing, I know. But we make it work. Roy R. Good to see you, Roy. What are you doing? Oh, it's, it's freaking Ed. Ed Cummings. We haven't seen Ed in a while, but now he's here. What's up, Ed? There's Haywood. Jablomi's in here, of course. Good to freaking see you. Oh, no. Did Amy do the thing? Did, did, did you use, which one did you use? Because it didn't pop up and now I'm freaking out. Amy. For one, I didn't even see Amy in here. Did I miss Amy? Hold on, let me check this out. Yeah, alerts are on. What the heck? Man, if it messed up. Hold on. No fireworks. Oh, there, there they freaking are. Amy, you used the wrong one. Because Doug just got the fireworks. Let's go. Fred. <laughs> Let's go. We, I, miss, I almost missed it. Oh, yeah. Amy, you must have used the wrong link. Or it just didn't like you. What the heck? Guy Davis. Yuck my Chang. Jerry Airborne Black. Who else? I saw someone else come in here. Dude, Swanee. Friggin' Swanee. Yeah, Amy, I hope, I hope you used the right one. If not, um, in spirit. You had a huge fireworks show. <laughs> um, oh, see? Let's go. Look at that. This upgrade you speak of better be worth it. <laughs> have saved. Hold on. I'm going to have to get this one over here so I can finish reading that. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't do a paragraph, but whatever. It says, so... Doug says, happy Friday, Trev. Donnie, the Linux cat. This upgrade better be worth it. Have a safe, fun vacation. Must get better together next month. Say hi to Miss Wrench and Mama Wrench and Biggin. I will definitely do that. And then friggin' DC. Happy vacay. Unplug for a while. So, you know, there's a little bugs. There's a few bugs. Does this thing even work, says Hendo. <laughs> there's a few bugs. And, you know, with the, with the paragraphing, it, it, it appears short sentences work better than long sentences. I'm sorry, but the fireworks show, I, you know, I found some, uh, I found some old, I found some wrench fireworks to, to shoot up in there. Let's go. <laughs> Lord Schlong says, Friday at Fred's is the place to be. I really wish I was at freaking Friday at Fred's right now, is what I wish I was doing. I would love to be there hanging out with you guys, sharing a drink with you. 
There's Paula. Just chanting my friggin' name. Wait, let's, let's chant. Paula. We're already, yeah, they're already partying. It's cool. I like the upgrade. So, and I also did, um, the Super Chats get fireworks too, but not the cool ones. They get the old ones. But they will pop up now. But the mega chat, you get the you get the upgraded show. That's what that's how we're doing it. Swanee, did you try any of the beer yet? Absolutely. So good. In fact, huge shout out, Swanee. Had this box full of you guys saw it. You I, you saw it. We'll get into it more because freaking incredible stuff. Those guys are, what the heck? They're just brewing beer. So hold on. I'm going to do something real quick. Um, hold on. Where is this? Okay, here it is. Okay. Okay. I'm just copying a little something, something. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just going to do something real quick. All right. Let's get some in our glass, shall we? What do you guys, everyone, go get something in your freaking glass right now if you haven't already i'm just talking um you know what i kind of want to try picked up a good old kentucky spirit pick today um because i haven't had one in a really long time so i want to i want to revisit it free and wild turkey now i will be honest you know this is a cool bottle and all but this does not beat the old turkey feather bottle i mean what what is that come on now warehouse f rick number 18 you guys were familiar with that i don't know do all how did how do the picks work for the kentucky spirit are they all from certain warehouses or like different warehouses or are they all from f i don't know this is the first time my store's ever had one of these. Okay. What's up, Thomas Burke? Arnold is on his way to Fred's. Everyone's on the way to Fred's. Cheers to Fred's crew. Let's friggin' go. I'm on my way to I'm on my way to Fred's. Right now. I found Kentucky Spirit is too expensive compared to Rare Breed or Russell Single Barrel. As we're about to find out. I mean, really, this is just 101 Single Barrel, right? Am I right? There we go. Friday at Fred's, having a great time with a massive fireworks show. Let's freaking go, Fred's. Everyone over there. Dude, got a Kentucky Spirit yesterday. It was a honey bomb, says Stevo4384 Murphy. Where the heck did you come from? Welcome aboard. <laughs> Hold on. Interesting. I can't tell you guys what's happening until it happens. But something's happening. Why is that not working? What's up, 13 and 18? Shelby, you lurker? Man, why is this not working? I got, we, we got a little something going on. And it's not working. Um, I'm going to directly 
crap. Interesting. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Did this not pop up? This is supposed to pop up, too. Whatever, guys. I tried. Jason freaking Busey. Go Navy. Yes, seaman. Okay, so they are from different warehouses. It smells pretty good. It smells like wild turkey. It smells like, like a... Oh, there it is. It's just delayed as heck. Jason Busey, five dollar super chat. That you know the the little fireworks. <laughs> All right, whatever. Cheers, guys. Let's let's drink something. We've been talking too long. Let's drink. Oh wow. That's weird. This is like a sweeter version of Wild Turkey 101 is what it is. May, uh, shoot, maybe it's like his, a honey bomb. It, I mean, it is. It's weird. Because of the fireworks post-fourth celebration. Let's go, Josh. <laughs> I freaking love fireworks. <laughs> oh, here... Heard noise that time. I didn't mute one of them. Whatever. You get to hear firework noises. <laughs> Man, I'm all I'm full of mistakes tonight. Getting too fancy with your plugins. I know there's so much things that can go wrong. Honestly, this one this is a honey bomb too. But then again, I don't know what a regular Kentucky spirit tastes like. I haven't, I, I think I've only had picks. Are they all picks? I don't know. But it's, this is, it's sweet. It's much sweeter than, than you typically get. Um, I think it's fine. I don't think it's like $40 more, $40 better than Wild Turkey 101, but it is good. This is good. What up, Nick Foles? You friggin' legend. Good to see ya. Yeah, we have a, um... I'm trying to get good old story time. We're gonna be talk. I want to bring someone in, talk about some picks that we're gonna be doing. And it's not, we're not letting our people in, you know? It won't let them. Let me generate a new link. No, your existing broadcast link will expire. No, ongoing sessions? Nope. Can't end that. I don't understand why it's not working. Technology, man, can sug it. All right, Nick Foles, what are we sipping on? Just cracked open a Kentucky Spirit, a pick. Uh, Warehouse F, Rick 18. Picked by my store. It is, my thing is, is I don't think I like this better. This is probably the same price as Russell's single barrel. Cheaper, Russell's single barrel is uh, Russell's single barrel is cheaper than this. And I like it a little better. This is, though, I wouldn't say this is bad. I just think the price is it's too much. Like, what is this? Why is this $60 and Wild Turkey 101 is friggin' $20, you know? I don't I don't get the the massive, massive price increase. Jason, I love, love Kentucky Spirit. It's one of my favorites, but you're right. Russell's is better. My, my, my issue is the price, again, but... 
Sipping 1792 Bottled and Bond Store Pick. Everyone let me know what you're drinking on. What's up, Z-Man? Good to freaking see you. Johnny, Russell's 10 Single Barrel Shelfer was much disappoint. Haven't cracked into my Kentucky Spirit, though. Also, what? The heck? I think they're really good. DC sucks. His sucks. I don't know. Mine's pretty good, but still, again... Kentucky Spirit is $49.99 in Ohio. So cheaper, but then... Yeah, so this one cost me $59.99. So, I mean, I just... I don't understand why it's so much more than friggin' um, 101. Did another Burr Ride Manhattan. That sounds pretty good. Try a Woodford Double Oak store pick Michelle gave me. It smells amazing. Mine is kind of... Nah. Nah. It's okay. Barrel Seagrass, that is a roller coaster of friggin' flavors, man. Let me see if I can. Am I allowing people to come in here? Like, why are, why can't they get in here? Copy the link. Um, hold on. We're going to get it to work over my dead body. Whatever. Yeah, this is fun. I do miss the turkey bottle, man. The turkey bottle, though. Come on, rare breed bottle's nice, but the turkey feather, it just looked freaking cool. It, it, it's, it's hap it, it happens. Always something, man. Yeah, the more I'm smelling this, though, the more, I think it's, again, this was the neck pour. I think this is pretty good. It's like, I don't know. I wish it had the age. Do they normally have the ages on these? This smells like, this smells older. It doesn't say, it just says when it was bottled, but it doesn't say when it was barreled. Huh. It smells older. It smells extra musty, extra dusty. Mm -hmm. Jamie Williams was sipping Knob Creek single barrel store pick. But don't need to twist my arm. 101 it is. Let's friggin' go. Took me a minute there. All the abbreviations. What's up, David Bays? B521. This is my favorite batch and really like this one. Um, Was it the Larceny Barrel Proof A121 that was just freaking terrible? I thought it was bad. Buffalo Trace store pick from Michigan. It's the best Buffalo Trace I've ever had. The the Buffalo Trace pick that Young Pai Chang sent me. It's pretty freaking good. Alright, stand by. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can get some someone in here. Hang out. What the heck? Here we go. Alright, let's see. See what happens. We're back. So what am I going to drink next? Someone pick, um, or I'll pick, actually. I know what I want to drink. It's vacation for me, guys, so we're going to be sitting, drinking, chatting amongst each, whatever. Having a good freaking time. Just pre-gaming. Celebrating being on vacation and going to actually be on vacation. Is that a uh, double oak Woodford behind you? No, this is just regular. 
regular Woodford, which I'm telling you, I haven't. This is the first time I've bought a regular Woodford. I think it's pretty good. What's up, Brian Faber? What is up? Sipping Elijah Craig B520. Ooh, so good. Better than the Stellar Seller? Yeah. The Stellar Seller was really good, though, Donnie. This one, though, pretty good. Sipping on some Russell's Reserve uh, single barrel store pick Rick House CNA floor 433. Very good and 49. So freaking good. I'm empty. I kind of want to stick with some turkey for a minute because we're just drinking, chatting right now. Um, another hitter. Like, this is this thing's so good. Here we go. Let's test that friggin' Kentucky Spirit $60 to this 10-year-old $30 Russell's. Half the price, right here. Half the price, um, 10 years old. No telling how old this pick is, I don't know. It smells a bit older. You guys think why Kentucky Spirit is more than 101 is because it was supposed to compete with Blanton's? I, I really don't know. I have no idea. No, that's crazy. I don't know what you guys think of this bottle. It smells. I, I, I was saying the Kentucky Spirit smelled a bit older. This regular old dude, I'm getting a lot more barrel charry um, age out of this $30 bottle than the $60 Kentucky Spirit. Um, not that that was what they were going for, but it's freaking good. And honestly, like, I'm normally a proof hound, but 90 proof, like, this is enough for me. On this bottle, I think it works. What's up, Lido? Here we go. Jerry Black is just happy to be here. Woodford Reserve Wheat. That is one that I enjoy outside. Uh, I don't know why. It just turns into like banana bread. If you take it outside, for whatever reason, it turns into actual, um, like a fresh, out of the oven, banana nut bread. So freaking good. So freaking good. Let me catch back up. How's the Maker's Cask? We can get into it. Because I love Maker's Mark, you know what I'm saying? Maker's Cask, um, like the regular Maker's, really good. To me. It's non-chill filtered. It's like a creamy, mouth-coating explosion of candy. Ooh, man. I'm, I'm kind of pissed off that I... I bought this bottle when I started drinking way back when, and I was just buying progressively more expensive bottles. I remember buying this because I was like, I want to get something a little more expensive. So I jumped up to $30, and, you know, I bought this. And I don't remember, like, I don't remember liking it this much. I, and I never bought another bottle until recently. And I'm like, why have I not bought this? It's so good. The nose is my favorite. I could just smell this all day. Toasted s'mores. It's like cookies. Friggin' fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. 
Have a great one, Trev. I have to get into my chores before having to work at PBR this evening over here. Enjoy your evening all. Have a great day, Chris. You crazy? What's up, whiskey freaking nose? Happy Friday. Good to freaking see you. I love you. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> we're, we're still, I'm communicating. We're trying to get a guest in here, folks. We have some stuff to talk about. We're trying to talk about the pick that we're going on in a couple weeks. We're trying to discuss a little bit about that. Major technical difficulties. They can't get in here. But, so we're just going to keep drinking this until they figure it out. Biggin. Biggin's over there sneezing. Quit that. Gosh. Just making noise in here. Ooh, that's good. Man, I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on this. Don't sleep on it. I'm, I've been doing a lot of revisiting older bottles, especially making these videos I've been doing recently. Um, bottles that I were more into when I was starting to get into bourbon. And then I kind of just drifted. I don't know if I... I just didn't buy them again. And um, I'm revisiting them, and I'm freaking loving them. So... Does anybody know MSRP on Cornerstone Rye? I'm afraid to find out it's real expensive. Cornerstone Rye. I think that was a little bit... Um, so the 17 bottled in bond was 200 Like 199 I think the Cornerstone Rye was less than that. I think it was like 150 Or something like that. 150 Sounds about right. It was less than 200 Yeah, I've, I've been doing a lot of them, and honestly, just I've, I've been revisiting tons of these old bottles that I just didn't ever, you know, I've just, I would move on to more expensive, higher proof stuff, but then, I don't know, it's pretty good stuff. Okay, 175, that's it. It's 175. Maybe... Maybe the Turkey 17 was 175 too because I paid exactly $200 after tax. It was right, it was literally 200 after tax. So Mm. So good. All right, they're trying to log in again. You guys better be ready for this pick we're about to do. It's going to be so freaking good. Going to go for a pour. What the heck? Is that what you meant? I need something else. What's up, Maureen Franchi? Fancy Franchi. Good to see you. Let's do this pick. That's exactly... What we're going to do. Oh, Blackened. You know what? Me and my buddy have been wanting to do this. And let me run it by you guys and, and let me know what you think of this idea, okay? We're wanting to take... Because we're huge Metallica fans, right? Best band of all time. I'll fight you if you disagree. We want to take <laughs> multiple batches of Blackened. Because you know how... Their shtick is they blast the barrels with a different playlist of Metallica songs. And we want to take the different batches with, you know, different songs blasted at them and see how different they are. And we're going to look at the songs. We're going to find our favorites based on what songs they used. Um, and, and I don't know, see. But that, that involves, we're going to have to go find several batches of Blackened. Um, I don't know how easy it's to find older, older freaking batches, but we're going to do it. Turkey 23 has a ring to it, and I'd like to try it. There's a Turkey 23. 
Jamie wants to know, what is your guy's favorite bottled in Bond? Favorite bottled in Bond. Favorite bottled in Bond, huh? Probably Old Fitz bottled in Bond because the bottle is the sexiest thing ever. How's that for an answer? An album blend. <laughs> they, we, I don't know. We could get creative with it. We could make an album. We could blend a little bit. We could take. We could find us. We could find the entire album and blend it together. David Babcock. Evening, Trev. Happy Friday from Oregon. Drinking rare breed. Well, shoot, man. We're, this is going to turn into a turkey night because we can't get our guest in here. I literally did this whole thing so they could come in here, and I can't get in here. Whiskey Burger. I've always wanted to mix Blackened with Blue Run to make Blackened Blue. Oh, my gosh. They, you guys are creative. What's next? We're, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the guest to get in here. I just simply don't understand. I don't. All right, gotta go. See it. See you, Swanee. Good to freaking see you. Uh, here we go. Eric Larson. Cheers, Trev McKenna for the bottle and bond. McKenna is a good option. It is a good answer. Master Keep bottled bond is the best ever. It is really good. Then you can have blackened bluefish for dinner. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm starting to think it, it, it might be user error. You know what? Hold on. I'm meant to do something. I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to do something. And I want someone. You don't even have to. You don't have to. I won't even put you on the stream. Okay. But I want you to click this link. And I want to see if you pop up right here. I want to know what the crap is going on. So someone click that. And let me see if you pop up. You gotta have like a camera or something and, and enter the studio. I don't know how it works. We're about to, so, look, there we go. People are in. I don't know, man. Well, hold on. Yep. Yeah, I see people. I Okay, so Donnie doesn't have a camera, but I'm seeing someone with a camera. Hold on. Let me turn this on. Let's do a test real quick. Oh, what's up, Ed? Hey, what's going on, Trev? How you doing, brother? I'm doing great. It's uh, this turns out it it works. Yeah, hey, see, it is probably wait. there. What are you uh, what are you doing? What are you smoking on? What are you drinking? Well, on? I got uh. An Oliva cigar sitting in the backyard on this beautiful night after the storm hit here in uh, Virginia. Sipping on some uh, some Buffalo Trace, a single barrel barrel pick or store pick from, uh, shit, I got it from Destination Bourbon. And that's wherever they're at, I think Michigan. It's freaking delicious, by the way. Well, here you go. I just poured some. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, brother. Thanks for uh, for testing this out for me. <laughs> I'm down for anything. Friggin' love it. And it's good to finally talk to you. We've talked quite a lot, you and I. So Yeah. No, I'm glad it's you like got we're meeting. The, I know, it's like for the first time. It's crazy. And I got my, my, my beautiful wife here too. Well, hello there. Good to yeah. see you. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. So uh 
How's that? Uh, do you like that uh, that whiskey from uh, Hawaii? That uh, old uh, Pali Road. It's it's pretty weird. I'll give it that. Yeah, it's, it is. You can it? tell it's it's from uh, <laughs> it's from Hawaii. <laughs> it, it, well, because they say like the water, because there's like a little bit of a uh, a blend in there from a uh, source whiskey, but most of it's from their own distillate. Um, and the water there, like all the lava and the filtration that the water goes through naturally, I think has a has a large impact on it. So I think it, I think it's pretty good. It's a unique one and it's something I'm definitely glad I got in my collection now. So I mean, I liked it. I accept it, and I'm am very thankful that you freaking did that. So now we're gonna have to share that together too. Oh well, yeah, I to, well, mine's in the house, but yeah, definitely. Well, shoot. The person that was trying to get in here for the past 45 minutes has got has gotten in here okay. somehow. Good. Yeah, shit. Sounds like it's gonna be a party. So this is uh this is very interesting what's about to happen here. Cause there's people that might not even know that this is gonna happen. I'm just building the anticipation. I, I, I can tell. I'm getting uh, pretty anxious myself. I love surprises. Oh, it's a surprise. Someone in the chat's gonna be surprised. That's all I got to say about that. Hey, you got that old uh, Polly Road. Hold me, please. Oh, are you going to go get it? Oh, my wife is. Uh, she's she's pretty awesome. She, I, I, When we talk about marrying up, I definitely married up. She's way <laughs> too good for me. Um, so uh, that, that's, that's for damn sure. She uh, she takes care of the kid and takes care of me. And uh, um, But, yeah, so if you ever get the opportunity, definitely, definitely do it. Marry up. <laughs> I'm empty. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I'm uh, I'm about to be. What's up, Sherry? So, Ed, this is what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna share this pour together. Okay. And then I'm gonna kick you the heck out and make okay. you do push-ups. <laughs> and uh, how about some burpees? And then we're bringing on the second guest. That way, it's just we got to keep things a little organized. That's what we'll do. Did you get it? Uh-huh. Here we go. Yeah, that's Let's the, try uh... it. Old Pally Road from friggin' Hawaii. I don't know. Where, where is that from? Wahoo? Uh, yeah. Oahu uh, there in Hawaii. So... Same place as uh, Schofield Barracks and a few other military installations. So, the the crazy thing about this is the color looks like scotch, dude. I know it does. <laughs> I get like I, it, maybe it's me, but I get like a pineapple. Yes, definitely. It's it's, it's fruity. It's very definitely fruity. fruity. <laughs> yeah, man. Have you seen Miss Wrench? Definitely an upgrade. <laughs> hey, she's she's pretty awesome. Very true, very true. All right, let's try it. This is mm. I'll be honest, dude. Smelling it right now, it's it smells even better than when I first opened it. No, I know. It's it's like, you know, let air little let, needed, let a little air get to it and it freaking it really helps. Open it. for sure. Here we go. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, brother. It's mm. funky. <laughs> yeah, it's fruity. It's almost like juicy fruit with like pineapple. And maybe Hawaii is screwing with our brains, but I firmly believe this is fruity. I, I think you're right. I don't it's know if you've ever been, fruit. but if you get a chance to go, I highly recommend it because it's a great place to be. I don't know what the story of the of the picture on the bottle is. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too familiar with it either. I haven't done a lot of research on it, but I saw uh, like a Hawaiian whiskey and I'm like I I've got to get that because my collection has a a, well, I have a very robust collection. 
and uh, I needed to have it in my collection. So, and it made the trip safely. I, I think it's cool just trying. I love trying bourbons from different states because, yep. like, they are all. You can. T I, I wouldn't necessarily. You can tell what state they come from, but you can definitely tell that they're not from Kentucky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's like, Kentucky, like the distinctive. Yeah, Texas, they're doing their own freaking thing. Yeah, and the, the the impact that the heat has on those barrels and then the grains they use and how they distill it is definitely. Uh, I have a lot of Texas in there because I came from Texas uh, most recently, and seeing what they're doing, like. I just love what can happen, and with with the whiskey, like when you add just small differences, like the smallest yep. difference can be like the grain or the barrel or the heat, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> I need a lady who differentiates between connoisseur and raging alcoholic. <laughs> That's a very fine line. <laughs> Man, the chat. They are on one right now. <laughs> yeah, I can't see the chat, but I'm sure they are. So Josh asked Ed, what Olivio are you smoking? Well, it's the uh, Siri O is what it says on the side. I'm not very familiar with cigars. I've kind of recently started on the cigars, but uh, yeah, Siri O. Well, there you go. Very mild. It's actually not, not bad at all. It doesn't overpower the whiskey at all, so... Down the hatch. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I actually, I, I got another whiskey from uh, Hawaii. I found one. It was a. Uh, let's. I'll go grab it real quick. Is it made by the same one. people? No, it's a. It's a different one. It's um. Let's see here. Paniolo, the spirit of the Hawaiian cowboy. <laughs> The Hawaiian cowboy, huh? The, yeah, the Hawaiian <laughs> cowboy. So, the story on the bottle goes, um, in the late 18th century, King Kamehala the first was gifted with cattle by Captain George Vancouver of the British Royal Navy. Mexican vaqueros were brought to the Hawaiian Islands to control the cattle and break the purple wild horses. These vi vicaros embraced the Hawaiian tradition and became known as the Paniolo. In the spirit of the Hawaiian cowboy, Paniolo blended whiskey brings mainland history and island tradition together once again. So that's what the bottle says. They got to have a story. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaiian cowboy. I love the dude. I love the dude, like this cowboy <laughs> sitting on the beach, just chilling. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but is there Hawaiian Hawaiian Malort? I freaking hope not. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Trying to kill Islanders, us all. Islanders, Mexicans, horses, cowboys, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have to have everything because they can't go anywhere. They, they have to import everything. Yep. They're just stuck out there. Well, hey, I'm going to let you go because we're bringing in the next guest. All right, brother. Hey, Ed. man. It was great talking to you. Great seeing you. Friggin', I love you, Ed. You know, <laughs> I Ed, love you I'll too, man. I'll talk. I'll talk. We'll talk. Oh, yeah, definitely, brother. All right. Cheers, man. All right. Take care. I don't know how this works. There he goes. Friggin', Ed. My lights broke back here or something. We got to fix that. Our next guest is ready to come in. Interesting. Huh. Whatever. There we go. All right. What the heck? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. So we got a special guest. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, the, the pick, the pick that we're going to be going on. I hope you guys are ready because um, I'm ready. Hey. 
Look who it is. <laughs> what the heck's up? Nice what? shirt you got there. So listen, to be fair, when you put it in chat, I clicked on it, it worked right away. I think it's user error, man. I, <laughs> I don't know what it was. I clicked on it, it worked right away. No problem. It's no problem. Error. So the whole Friday Fred crew's outside. They're cheering now because I just popped up on their screen. <laughs> They're they're so excited, dude. Listen, this is uh, this is the embodiment, really, of story time. What's going on here? Like these people uh, opening their house, uh, an amazing spread of food, um, and just good times and good stories. And uh, I mean, this it really is kind of the whole heart and soul behind story time. And uh, I'm I'm just honored to be here. And uh, you know, you keep talking about that pick and and. It's just going to be an opportunity for more stories, right? For more, yeah. for more growth and outreach to the community to really uh, continue to to grow it up and, and uh, you know continue the legacy, right? We we uh, the the whole mission behind story time is to continue the legacy uh, of whiskey and and how it draws people together through its stories and its uh, its uh, you know delicious drams. So. Dude, 24 barrels. Are you ready? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so for people people who don't know, um, we're going on this pick, Driftless Glen. And long story short, we have 24 barrels that we will be picking from. 24. We might not make it back. <laughs> That pick is going to make it back. I might not make it back. <laughs> that might be my legacy bottle. That, that might be it. <laughs> might be it. Uh, well, hey, I'm going to go out here. Yeah. we. I, we I want to... you to see the Friday and Fred's crew. So this is Friday at Fred's, everybody. We're all here. That pick is going to make it back. You're probably going to get a little bit of echo here. Hang on. You better tell, hey, Friday at freaking Fred's. There's the crew. Yeah, Let's go. <laughs> What's up, Tom? Let's go. Look at everyone at Friday at Fred's. I'm telling you. <laughs> what do you They're think of just that? partying. See, look, we got you on the, the screen. Get a little inception going on here. Hey, so we're all out there. Everyone's out there. What is everyone drinking? We need to drink something. Together. Oh, yeah. What are we drinking? Old I don't know. You, oh, you, oh, <laughs> what do you say? They're, they're saying old Carter Batch Six, buddy. Oh yeah, let me just grab some old Carter Batch Six <laughs> right here. <laughs> was that a middle finger? I think it was. Uh, let's see. What do you, do you know, have? Uh, you have any Michter's Rye? Michter's Rye? No. No. Uh, no Michter's Rye. I got some Makers. Uh, I know you got plenty of makers. I have every makers. We got a makers uh, nine roasted French mocha stave. I I got I don't have that bottle. I got something dang near close. All right, well, we'll drink this one. Whatever you got with it, we'll drink with it. Let's go. All right. Hold that. Down. Yeah, there's a couple seconds. <laughs> What's up, Trav? And Mrs. Yeah. Fred over there. All I got to say hello to Trav. Anybody got an empty glass? I do. I saw O'Riff. O'Riff Screw came in here, so I'm picking his a pick that he sent me. So, O'Riff, you better go freaking get this. Uh oh. Oh, you want? Yeah. Good, we're up. If you get too slammered, Austin, I'm not going to get too slammered. I'm just going to go from alive I just, I just to dead. Took, uh, like a 130 proof shot, that old Carter, by the way. Holy crap. That's going to kick in in a minute. I'm, dude, that old Carter Batch 6, and anyone out, out here is wondering what one of my favorite bottles of all time that I've only tried one time <laughs> is old Carter Batch 6. Yep. It's so good. 
Look at this. Everyone, that guy right everyone there. Everyone rocking the Friday at Fred's shirt too. So, there's there's the catalyst for the Friday at Fred's right there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> His name's Richard, and he started this whole shenanigans. You gotta get ball and <laughs> hey, so we're all we're all at Friday at Fred's tonight. That's hey, right. Everyone out here. Paul, who? Oh. oh. What's up, Paula? That's that's Doug's wife. Don't be hitting on her. I know who it is. <laughs> I know the crew. Oh, Fred's wife. What is up? Look at everyone. I can't remember your. I don't think Mallory. I'm Mallory. Mallory. We didn't meet. But you came with him. Yeah. I'm on it. Sorry for the tarp. Okay. What's that? The late. And I can't remember your name. I apologize. Billy. Billy. I'm Doug. <laughs> you know Doug. Don't worry about Doug. <laughs> don't worry about Doug. We know Doug. We know Doug. <laughs> Uh, anyway, two weeks, buddy. Two weeks, and we're going to be, everybody, it's happening in two weeks, and I mean, I don't know how many barrels we're going to be coming out of there with, but, you know. My guess is at least three, but again, if they're crap, they're crap. We're going to get up and walk away. I have full faith. Though. Listen. I've already blinded this crap with like Stag Junior, and it beats them. It beats them. So that's exciting. Well, hey, did you pour some of this? I've just been smelling it. I've been waiting to cheers you fools. Say that again. Have you been drinking this, Makers? Yes. This this one's like mocha, like crazy mocha. Yeah, this, this pick that I have is so freaking good. O'Riff, I think he was saying this is the only one that he's had, so he was asking me if it's a good one. Um, and it definitely is. So, hey, I tried to send you a, a donation thingy, you know, but your system was, like, busted. I don't know what's up with that. I think it's you, brother. It might be. I don't know. It could, you know what? It could be Fred's Internet. It's got to be. Let's blame it's Fred. It's got to be Fred's internet. <laughs> I was trying to send you some money for some tequila because I know you're going to need it down there. <laughs> I, I mean, so, I'll, I'm going to try tequila down there. Going to try tequila. Are you, are you guys, do you have plans to go out to Cozumel? No, we don't have really any plans. We're going to figure it out as we go there. But we well, have, so, we're staying at an all inclusive resort. Of course. We're we're looking at some excursions through there and you know how many days um we will be there five days okay so like after day three you're gonna get a little stir crazy uh you're gonna want to get off so there's a nice straw market on the uh because you're you said you're in cancun but you're going to like playa del carmen right or playa the riviera maya kind of thing yeah yeah so there's a little straw market that's uh if you want to go to cozumel uh you have to go out to this little ferry boat and it takes you well that area there's like a big straw market and then you'll take that boat over to cozumel cozumel i don't know if you guys are into scuba diving but cozumel has probably the best wall dive in on this side of the hemisphere besides the great barrier cozumel is like really beautiful so I don't know if that's something you're into, but you should hey, totally try to do it. There's no telling what we're going to get into. I'm I'm ready, I'm going to go all out. You don't want to do that. But uh, I will tell you this. You get a little sick of eating because you're like, man, this is all inclusive. I feel like I have to eat 10 meals a day to justify the price. <laughs> it gets pretty miserable. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, dude, I'm excited that you're going down there, and I can't wait to uh, – to hear your stories when you get back and i'm looking forward to creating some new stories with you in a couple uh, freaking weeks get ready man story time's coming and it's uh that, like i said this really is the personification of it all right here. yep so, you're hanging out with it with an incredible group of people 
you know, that's what that's why I do this. Yep. I love the community. That's why you started this is just embracing yep. the community, telling the community stories. Yep. That's well, hey, I'm going to jump off here, though. Uh, All right. I love you to death, brother. You know that. I freaking love you. I love every, everyone at the Fred's crew. You, all right. Adios. Say goodbye, Trev. Let's go. Adios, Trev. Adios. 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 Cheers, guys. Friggin' love all of you. See you, man. See you, man. Well, here we go. We were at Friday at Fred's. What the heck? What the heck? That's what I'm talking about. Friggin' love this community. So, again, guys, to recap, follow Storytime over on Facebook. DC dropped the link. Over on Instagram, Storytime. Um, we're doing this pick together. We're, there's several of us going on this pick. We got a lot of freaking barrels to pick from, and we're going to be picking several. There will be several, so ample opportunities to get one because... You'll want to get one. It's going to be good. I mean, my advanced palette is going to be involved with this, okay? Okay. You might not want the bottle, the barrel that I pick. You know? I don't know. You like my palette? Pick pick what I get. What is this? We got another guest? Just people just popping in. What the heck? Whoa. Jake? Is that, is that what are you doing? I am drinking. That's what we got to do next. Of course. By the way, I did pregame on this, though. So don't ban me for my Patreon. Please nope. don't. I don't want to get killed. Get him out of here. If there is from just your state to Ohio, it would hit me <laughs> right now. And I'm just waiting for the hit. Say no to monkey shoulder. And no, you will just, get the pick. Just please, no, just hold the bullet off for a second. I mean, something could hit from the south to Ohio. What's Mostly that? Mostly Akron area. You know, it, it could hit. I'm sorry. Um, it's a good bottle. I'm a Scotch guy <laughs> at times. Sorry. Everyone in the chat. But he does have JD, so we're good. I'm going to – we're we're drinking the Jack Daniels. Of course. The monkey That's shoulder. That's why I brought – I have, like, five backups for a reason. It's a amazing Tennessee. I'm not, it's a actually made top whiskey bottle. right now. Huh? Yeah, it's a great I bottle. I don't have man. the barrel proof right next to me, but I do have the regular one right yeah. next to me. Even this is a Dude, banger. I got like a little, like a nook in the crowning shop. You know, you're just waiting for it. You just see like five of them sitting there. No one buys them. It's dust. No. And you see all the gin below, like not touched. I'm like, dude, I'm going to buy two at a time. And I, I have like four backups, you know? It's a steal every single time. I'm actually going to pour this one because I just want to drink it. There you go. Because I think these Jack Daniels. And by the way, I th this glass kind of fits it, right? I think it's pretty good. Let's freaking go. I think it's pretty good. It, it, it makes it taste 10% That much better. better. The nose is, oh, that caramel dark chocolate coffee. So great. Only because of the bourbon arch glass, I will say. What is everyone's t scotch, scotch, scotch? What do you think of Monkey Shoulder, though? What chat? Dude, if you... it is a good quality, man. I literally bought this an hour ago and I knocked out a quarter of it, man. Come on. Maybe two hours ago. It's just, I, okay, here's the thing. I like smoky scotch. This is a very good berry scotch. And I, it's one of those go to. I bought it. I was going to shop me. I was like, hey, man, why not buy it? I haven't had it in two years. It's still a good daily sipper. Not Here's lie. my issue. I'm a Scotch guy, by the way. I'm not going to criticize those who hate it because it's a divisive thing for bourbon drinkers. I get it. I think it's it's not real. I think I don't like malted barley. Okay, that's it. Okay, yeah. I mean, you don't like the malted berry stuff. It's a little no, weird and for that's you. like that's all I get on the yeah. Exactly. Shoulder. I love that stuff. So I mean, no. it's cool if you don't like it, man. I'm I, I'm very supportive of that. Like I understand people don't like that. It kind of hit me where I kind of liked that stuff initially, and I went to that way. So I still like Port Charlotte, by the way. Like, I love a smoky scotch. I love heavy stuff like that. But, like, you know, it's just a balance you got to hit. So some people are saying, I, Ed, I love Monkey Shoulder. But then Bubble Bath, well, for one, 
Well, Maybe. if you love monkey shoulder, I will bottle chug monkey shoulder. What the? Just for heck? all parties involved. Okay, so Jake is on his way out tonight, guys. It's nice Man, to meet man. you, and it's but nice I do to have you. good stuff. In <laughs> What's your up, opinion? Kelsey? I do so have I'm good stuff numb. in your opinion for Pudgy AD. So we're good to go. I mean, here we go. Man. I got Jack Daniels. Let's go, Jake. That's what. Here we go. Cheers. Man. It's like banana nut. I mean, you got to look at the barrels too, right? I got the 321. So. Three what? Three eight. What? What's the date though? Three eight twenty one. I have three two twenty one. Okay, I have one of those too. I, I can't one of those. I have, <laughs> dude. I have again. I have. This is my favorite whiskey right now. So I have like five backups. So. But so I get we this weird like our initial caramel hit with like a dark apart. chocolate and a fruit. Do you agree? It's like the dark flavors hit so quick, and then you just get like the mellow out. I don't know if I'm crazy for saying that, but no. it's what I get. No, no one is crazy. Any tasting note they get, they're not crazy because taste is 100%. Yeah, so I get like a dark peanut butter chocolate, then it goes fruity for me. And I mean, I love it, so I don't complain about it at all. This is good. This is so good. good. I freaking love... I think Jack Daniels, the single barrels, I mean, I don't know how many... I don't want it to become popular, but God no, dang. No, 100%. Um, it's just an overlooked bottle. It, it, it is No, I've been at work you. with people. I moved recently to an area that has a little... I mean, it's a different selection. And stuff sits that I'm not used to seeing sitting around. And I talk to people all the time about, like, whiskey and stuff. And they're like, oh, I'm like, yeah, but scotch is really good here. Like, I got some good scotches. You don't like scotch. I get that. It's fine. But I got some seals of scotch. And, like... People, like, just pick them on bourbon in Tennessee instantly. I'm like, yeah, I cannot find that. Like, you guys pick up on it too quick for me. Like, it's just this middle of the town Akron area where no one would drive to. But, like, dude, it's one of those things. I can't find the stuff I'm used to finding because, like, it's not a yeah. steal anymore where I was at. I'm like, I can't even buy old stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of milking some stuff now because I'm like, again, this is the thing. I love Chattanooga 111. It's my go-to. Like, it's my, probably my favorite Absolutely. bourbon just for flavor alone. Like, I love everything about it, but, like, I can't find it here. It gets here and it's gone within maybe 20 minutes when, like, they get delivered. I'm like, yeah, I got to milk that one because I'm <laughs> two hours away if I want to get it. it. Yeah, but I got to drive two hours to my parents' house if I want to get that. And I got to, like, literally drive Friday night, wake up at 7 a.m. to get there at 8.30 just to get it, like, People didn't know that where I was at, but now I'm like in a bigger city area. I'm like in a tri city area. I'm like, people know that's really good stuff. I'm like, dude, that flavor profile for that Chattanooga 111 is so, so hitting Carlo for me. So Carlo says, is that a Chatty 111 is my favorite of mine too, a scotch drinker bourbon? Maybe. I don't know. I, I like both, man. I don't, again, I love rye. I, I don't really compare right like that's where i kind of lie where i debate this in my mind because if you're gonna argue like what's better or worse i'm like listen like when i know i'm getting into something i'm gonna expect this thing yeah so i can separate what i'm expecting so if i'm like that look like wine impact on a chattanooga i know it's gonna come and i'm gonna fucking embrace it right that's the thing I have in my mind. I'm loving the Chattanooga. Yeah, it hits me. Like, I'm like, I like this. I didn't expect it or I didn't like prepare for it, but like, I, well, going forward, I will. And that's what I expect from it. And it's a weird debate of like, should you expect it? If it's changing things, you shouldn't, right? But at some point, you're like, this is really good. Like, I don't care if people buy it or not. And people figure it out where I'm at. Not where my parents live, where I have to drive <laughs> a couple hours for them to buy it for me, and they can send it to me. But, like, it's one of those things where I sit back, I'm like, yeah, this is really good. Like, it's clearly people are buying it everywhere, and I'm just waiting for find findings in the area. I'm like, if you can find it, buy it, please. Because I will personally pay you that and 10% just to get it. Like, it's one of those things where <laughs> I love it. And 
Uh, I, I don't know, Brian, but... Yeah, is yeah, the 111 it's, better than the 92? I don't think so, man. That 111 hits really... I don't know. For me personally, it hits perfectly. It has a, like, spice to it when it hits the palate. I don't know. But it just hits me to a point where I'm like, I really like this, and I'm, like, milking it to the point where, like, usually I'd kill it within, like, a month because I, I know it's there. Now I'm, like, within three months of moving, I'm, like, sitting there, like, all right, like, I'm a quarter of the bottle. I got to, like, go eighth of the bottle every month till I find it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where – I just sit back. I'm like, I'm waiting. I'm going to wait for that to kind of like go back. I'm like, I have to drive back for this bottle and slash see my family. Like if I know I'm going to call them up, I know those guys pretty well. Like if it's there, save it for me. It's going like I, I will buy it and I will drive two and a half hours back to you just to get this bottle. But it's like a weird thing for me where I'm like sitting in the middle where like I get it. Like it's not a high proof, but like, my profile just like synced with it, right? Trev, do you agree? Like you just kind of have that syncing with it, really. It's just so good. Yeah. Everyone's everyone loves the 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 one eleven. Everyone in the chat is frigging see, craving the one eleven. No, so see, cool sixty two Trev. Like I get that. It was like eight bottles back. Like I could have bought two or three at a time, and I didn't at the time. I regret it now, but like it's so crazy that it didn't hit, catch on. But like. It's so good. And, like, I look back now, I'm, like, see my bottle of plea. I'm, like, I, I should have bought it. 100%. Like, when I saw, like, that area where I was living at the time, like, if I would have bought it before I moved, it would have been an instant kill. So, yeah, I get it. Um, it's tough. I, I don't know. But there's certain bottles I see here, like, just, like, moving recently, or I'm, like, wait, people are paying for this or versus not this, right? You got to, like, debate that in your mind. Jamie, you pick up a Chattanooga. If, if you have, if you can get the 111, pick it up. Pick it up, man. It's so good. And should I pour it right now and just kill this one? Yeah. I'm not responsible for your death. Please don't be responsible. It's not, 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 it's not me. Move. It's Friday. It's Friday shenanigans. Ooh, Chattanooga Port. Adam Shelton. What is up, Adam? If you could find the Chattanooga Port. I'm a huge... I need to get I need to get one of those. I'm a huge finished whiskey freaking schnob. Dustin! What's up, ladies and mateys? Ooh, how's everyone doing? Dustin, freaking get something in your glass right now. Yeah. Again, been smoking this for like two months, man. I've not touched it because I'm scared. Like, I might not see it again. Yes, give a pour. <laughs> Brian really wants to know what you think of this. Me? Yeah. He said pour it and freaking tell me what it is. What it is. It is Chattanooga Straight from 111, by the way. So I will say that out loud, as you know. Dude, I get this, like weird grainy note to it which should be offensive for most bourbon drinkers but on the nose everyone's just going everyone's pouring chattanooga 111 everyone's got it if on the nose it's sign. instantly like a banana sweetness to it and if you don't like that i get it but it's like a banana caramel sweetness to it just so light and it's such a go-to Oh, Carlo, I have a sample of Chatty Port poured for you. Just got a pack of Well, now I'm excited. Oh, well, we got to find it, man. That's the, that's the question. But, no, the Chatty 111 is so good, man. Like, again. Best Chattanooga. I've, I've had, had this for, like, three months, by the way. And I want to pour it every day. Like, I walk in after work at, like, 6 p.m. I just want to have a pour. And I'm like, I'm, like, literally could pour this every day, but I won't. Like, I know it won't be around for, like, two months. And I'm like, all right, I won't do it. But it's one of those things, man. Like, it is not offensive in any way for anybody drinking it. But, but it's just like a a sweetness to it. Where Someone pick my next pour in the chat right now. Go. 
What is someone in the chat drinking? And I want to drink along with you, so pick it. Josh says, where the heck are you at? To you, Jake. Where am I at? I am... I just chose my location. I am in Central Ohio. Nick Foles, are you drinking E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, or do you just want me to drink? I am in... Yeah. Austin says McKenna Tenure. Yep. Cheech, well, Cheech. I will say, I am Cheech, in what are you the doing here? Central Ohio area, and you cannot find me. Ooh. So, I love the Remus. Well, what's up, Heather? Good, to, good. Glad you're in here, you friggin' lurker. Oh, Donnie. Donnie texted me and was like, why are you not reading my message? Because Donnie, on my screen when you tag me, it's not it doesn't highlight over here like the other thing. I'm sorry, Donnie. <laughs> oh shoot, that's right, Donnie. You think <laughs> Donnie Donnie hates me. <laughs> Still have makers forty six in my glass. What's up, Doug E. Fresh? Remus? Shoot, there's so much I want to drink. No. Hold on. All right, Jake. I have to I have to kick you out because I have a next guest. So Excuse me, man. I See love you. you. Man. Have a have a great night. See you in the chat. Good luck sure. with killing some uh some more bottles. See you, buddy. Yep. <laughs> Jake. All right, we got a next our next guest um doesn't have to drink anything, but she has to make an appearance. So, everyone welcome our next guest. Come on in. Oh next God. guest. Oh! <laughs> what is up everybody? Hello. How's everybody doing this evening? You didn't What's even up? have me a chair. Well, I wasn't expecting you. What are you... Okay, so... Here we go, guys. Bring the chair in. Yep, you just gotta avoid all them obstacles. Here we go. Next guest just showed up out of nowhere. Here, let me hide that. So... Mom. Mama Wrench. What we've been doing all night... Okay. Is people have been just showing up uh, to the stream, and they've been picking my pour, what I drink. Okay. So I want you, right now, to go anywhere in here and just grab a bot, any bot. I don't care what it is. You just don't have to think something. about it. Okay. Grab something. Okay. Not these. These have already been drank. But over there. Oh, over there. Okay. Or over here. Or over here. It doesn't matter. Just grab. You can dig. You just push a little bottles out of the way. It doesn't matter. Just grab one. And we'll see what she brings. Everyone, everyone's saying hello. Let's get 100 likes so Mama Wrench can have some Malort with her. What are you doing? Ooh! How did she know? There we go. We started the night off with some turkey. What's up, Brian? So, Mama Wrench picked Russell Single Barrel. This is a pick CNA. This is a CNA pick. So, let me get that thing off your face. So, here we go. The oh, no. Malort is over here, so there's no way she could have picked that. It's hidden. She she ain't picking what? she ain't picking that crap. It's hidden over here. So really, excuse the way I look. I've been under the weather. Yeah, she... I had that summertime cold, and it's had me down all day. So I probably will enjoy this. So here's to all of y'all. I hope you had a good Fourth of July. 
and we have another weekend coming up and hopefully after this weekend i'll be feeling better see there so. we go what's up roger d eric larson says mama wrench great pick i don't how did you know where is the pick from this is yorkshire this is your this is the one you got me donnie all right donnie yeah donnie doing the picks and then the claw stephen holt's claw showed back up jamie Pulled my Russell single barrel. So here we go. What did, what did DC say, Trev? Your sister's got a tan. All right. <laughs> this is my sister, huh? <laughs> that's really all I felt like doing. Maybe a little pool time. Donnie, that's it. Donnie's calling me out asking if we've gone to Buffalo Wild Wings yet. We haven't gone yet, Donnie. Just give me it. Kit, give me a break. We're gonna go. And Mama Ren I here's the thing. Okay, where's 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 mine? What do you you want some of this? I mean, I picked it. It probably is gonna make me feel better. What do y'all think? I think it's gonna make me open up my sign. Here, scoot scoot over a little bit. Hmm. And then scoot back some. Back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't want a good view, though, right now. What's up, Jeffrey <laughs> Weck? So Mama Wrench asked for some Russells. I'll just give you a tiny little bit. So, here we go. You know, do you know who Russell is? Russell. No, help. Russell's? I've seen you pick that a lot, so. It's good. Dink it. Dink it. Sink it. Sink it. She just shot the Russells. Here's to Russells. <laughs> At this point, I think anything would make me feel better. That's better than cough medicine. You know what? Yeah, it sure the heck is. I can actually That's breathe. dang good. I can actually breathe now. You can breathe. You sound way better I now. I even sound better. Same. Sound better, look better. What's up, Adriana? Nice logo you got there. Freaking love you. Champion, um, Austin Feltz is just dumbfounded. He is. Mama silent. don't play. <laughs> Pog champ, or is that Pogue champ? That actually was not that bad. Let me, and I'm not a bourbon connoisseur, but let's see. Not bad. Do you know? I might tell you. This comes from something, you've heard of this. There's a bottle who, the people who make this, you've heard of. Okay. Wild turkey. Wild, wild turkey. turkey. Wild turkey. You're yeah. familiar with wild turkey? Yes, because I bought you a bottle for your birthday. I sure did. Huge shout out. Wild yeah. turkey. Get this, guys. and Let me just run this past you. My birthday two years or three years ago? Two years? About two years ago. Two years ago, this woman went into a store and got wild turkey decades. Mm -hmm. Found it and got it for me. Two what bottles. the heck? I think two bottles left. Two. Whatever. She's crazy. Good moms, right? The cure for a common cold is yes, whiskey. It is. I'm I mean, it is. I feel. I'm Kelsey. Kelsey Dime says we miss you. Aww, did you meet? Thank did, you. did you meet miss Kelsey? You guys. Did you meet Kelsey? Huh. Who's the guy? Him and Dustin were the ones who come over. Okay. You meet him. Make Mama Wrench a hot toddy. That will help that summertime cold. Give me, yes. give me a good hot toddy recipe. What's up, Drew? Furstenberger. Probably that with a little bit of honey. Can she adopt me and get me a Russell's 13? John, no, <laughs> because she has not got me a Russell's 13. Where's my Russell's 13 at? Where's so, my Russell's 13 at? So, I just had my birthday. So what's a, what does the 13 mean out of Russell's? It's how old it is. 
So is it like 13 years? 13 years old. Wow, 13 years. Well, this one right here is 17. The one you got me had dang 20 year old So stuff how on. old was this one that we just did? It does not have an age on it. Okay. Some of them have ages, others don't. Okay. She's learning, guys. She's learning. Give her a break. Uta! Guten Tag. Good to friggin' see you. David Goldman, will you use bourbon cream in your coffee? I mean... Oh, yes. Yes. I Mama will. Ranch will. Definitely. I, I mean, I Definitely. will. Definitely. To where you get it. Where do you get some bourbon cream? Well, here's the thing. We get... We don't get... This, this is weird. Tell me if this is weird to you guys. We do not... Buffalo Trace has a bourbon cream. We don't get it. We don't get, like, freaking no. any Buffalo Trace products. No, no. We don't even get the bourbon cream. We have a local distillery of ours makes a bourbon cream. We get that. And it's, I mean, it tastes, it's bourbon cream. It tastes like bourbon cream. It's really good. Bailey's is about the only. She drinks Bailey's. Or... Bailey's, uh, Kahlua. Well, you're not a big Kahlua person more Rum, than Bailey's. Rum Chata. Rum Chata. Rum Chata. Mama Ranch loves a good Rum Chata. That, actually, I can't believe that I like that. I can't believe how much better I feel. I've been feeling bad all day. This is like cinnamon goodness. Yes. It's like a cinnamon cookie or something. I didn't get it like, I didn't get it like caught. Boone County, we only get, I think we get one bottle of Boone County here, and I don't even know what it is. Boone I County got, bourbon cream. We don't okay. get the bourbon cream, but we don't get that. We get, um... I, don't, I forgot what it is. It's like a seven-year-old or something. Eagle Rare? What about Eagle Rare? We Okay, here's the thing. We get Eagle Rare in Buffalo Trace regular. They will put it behind the shelf, behind the counter, and it will be double the price. So Eagle Rare is like 60 bucks here. I am not doing that. I, will re I refuse to do that. William LaRue Weller Bourbon Cream is the best. Shut up, DC. Trev, Miss Linux Cat says Rocktown just released a new ginger beer. Yep, they they definitely did. Richie, yes, it's Mama Wrench. Let's go. Hello, Richie. Oh, there's Diana. Mama Wrench needs to be get the peppermint rum chata at Christmas time. Ooh, I bet that would be good. What's up, nerds? What's up, friggin' Livewire Whiskey, you nerd? When it's Livewire Whiskey, who is that? Is that Mike? Who is Who operates this? Who is that? You nerd. It's Mike. Nerd. Use Weller Special Reserve. I have some of that hot some toddy. Hot My toddy. wife doesn't like bourbon, but she loves this version. You got some of that? I have some Weller Special Reserve. So maybe I need to try some of that. No, he, he meant in a hot toddy. Oh, in a hot toddy. This is way more proof than that Weller Special Reserve. So if you see, I've want to wait. Got that. She needs to get some obtainium. Clear those sinuses. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. If your name was Whiskey Shits, would you go buy anything else? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Drew says, what's in the glass, Trev? So, Mama Wrench, I had her go pick a bottle for me, and she came back with this bottle. Russell's Reserve Store Pick, CNA, CNA Store Pick. I mean, they're so freaking good. Hard to beat a yes. CNA, a good CNA pick. Pick up Biggin. Everyone wants to Everybody see Biggin. Everyone wants to see Biggin. And Biggin is, he's over here in force. There's kitty kitties. <laughs> <laughs> Look how angry Bacon is. Lean in this way. What up, Biggs? Oh. Do you know this is almost his birthday, kind of? Yeah. The summer, and he How is, old is he, 19? How old would, no, what did we say he was? So he's turning 18. No, he's, is he 17? I think he is 17. He was born in the summer of 04. 04, someone do math. 17. So he's turning 17? He is turning 17. He's not happy right now. Yes, he is. He's he's saying, give me some of that whiskey. Look at <laughs> He's clawing me. 
Okay, he says, let okay. me down. He got his, uh... His moment of fame. Now he just wants the feet. He really is Trevor's buddy. I mean, he went into retirement. What's up, Ryan Tarpy? Ryan Tarpy's my metal buddy. Oh, wow, my little... My little buddy Oliver nearly made it to 18. Aww. Yeah, Biggin, Biggin's kicking. He just likes feet. He kinda, One lime at a time. He's kind of gimping around, but he's still hanging with us. One lime at a time. Good to see you. One lime at a time. Key lime, I know you're there. Good to see you too. Tux? Okay, so Donnie... Tux made it to 18. I can't. I know you can't really see his picture. Same. He's a tuxedo cat, just like Biggin was. Yeah. Tux made it to 18. Aww. And he looked just like Biggin. All right, Tux. My cat Frodo made it to 17. We had one make it to 20. Wow. I've Where had two I dogs think... make it to 18. That's awesome. Dogs making it to 18 is crazy. Yeah, that is. And this is our first cat that we've had live this long. Yeah, all, all of our other cats have just... Well, things Most happen. of them disappeared. And the longest dog we've had live was Casey, and she was 15. 15, yeah. 15. Trev needs to be grounded for at least a week. What? Yes, why? What the heck? Shut up, Marty. <laughs> so I'm... I'm about empty. Okay, we need to do another toast before my niece calls me. Yep, the niece she, is in here. And I'm, I apologize. I've been sniffling. My little niece is the one that gave this to me. And she is calling me. She calls me Cece. So I'm Mama Ranch into her um, Cece. Mama Cece. So. so before you go, though, you have to go. You have to pick one more. One more. You don't have to drink it, but for me. No, I need something, because that sure made okay, me Okay, then better. go pick something hey, for both of us. real quick. Give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. Ideas. Okay, so here we go. People are asking for ideas. What's a good one that's going to make me feel better? What's going to make Mama Wrench feel better, everybody? And then maybe I'll look better. Here we go. We gotta wait. There's a little delay. Okay, Nick okay. Foles says that will make you feel better. E. H. Taylor Barrel Proof. Okay. Do we? I don't know if I've heard of that one. Oh, I got it. But here we go. Adam says, "Well, there's appeared four roses. I don't have the four roses single barrel. I'm out." You have had that one before. I've had had it. Johnny says obtainium. Do Livewire I says light whiskey, which is obtainium. Okay. Austin Felt says obtainium. That's three any, for obtainium. Do we have any of this obtainium anywhere? We, it's right behind me, so it's hold on. right behind you. Okay. So I might have to do two. But then here we go. Hold on. Someone says, well, David says obtainium. Okay. Ryan Darby says Jack Daniels barrel proof, though. Good okay. option. Lo, so Noah says high proof rye. Okay. Ugh. No. I don't know if you've tried a high proof rye. I don't think I have. Like a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye. No, O-I-R-F screw, tobacco dickle, absolutely, and he meant to say Tabasco, absolutely freaking not. Why? Wow. It's so bad. I don't have, I have a bad? sample of it, but okay. I do not have it. So, so this thing is behind us somewhere. Obtainium might not make you feel better, but it will certainly make you forget. Okay, we are going to try this Obtainium. Okay, so Doug, Doug, oh, look, Doug just gave us, look at the fireworks. Okay. $10 super chat from Doug, sipping on a Russell's Reserve pick. Also, make Mama Wrench some kind of medicine. Yes. yes. Doug, we got Mama Wrench. She, she, what are you, you're looking for obtainium? Yes, I need something. Oh, my God. See, that Russell's just didn't, I mean, y'all hear me. Oh. oh, it's right there with the gold. The gold. Mama Ranch is getting the gold. Right You're there. making Mama Ranch drink obtainium? Well, how many likes are we up to? How do we have do we have a donation goal? Are you trying to kill my mom? So what's so what's this mean? Y'all just just sort of fill me in. What's 
That doesn't say obtainium on it. So yes, what? it does. So it just says lye whiskey. Obtainium. Okay. So uh, look, this is all you got to know. Okay. This is not a bourbon. There is something called light whiskey. Okay. Why they call it light whiskey, I don't know, because it's everything but light. Because this bottle is 69.9% alcohol. Um, Guaranteed to kick it, right? Yes, so this is this particular bottle is aged. I've never seen you have that bottle. This is because something Because someone sent me this. I did not, cannot get this bottle. <gasps> And okay. someone sent this to me. Okay. It was John. John. Thank you, John. I'm going to finally feel that. Now this Look, this... O'Riff says Mama Ranch Obtainium is nuclear fire. Okay. Fire. Ugh. It's 70% alcohol or more. Ha, okay. ha, ha. <laughs> Do I need to have Kleenex ready? No. No. Just ready. So, but this this whiskey, this particular bottle is almost 16 years old. Okay, 16. And it's... Older than me, barely, though. Barely yeah. older than Mama barely Ranch. Barely older than me. Friggin' obtainium. Can I smell it first? Yeah, well... What if it burns my nose? Well, just... You, I'm gonna pour... You gotta pour the smallest amount. If Why? You're, because you just chug it. Okay. You, here, you take that one. Is that enough? You take that one. Okay. I accidentally poured more in that one. I'll smell it. Can you smell anything? Sorta. Of. <laughs> <laughs> or feel <family. I>, it. Kinda. <laughs> Not really. The Tabasco would open her nostrils, just saying. It will also ruin her taste buds. It's so bad. Kevin it's Campbell bad. says, please be careful, Mama Rich. Please. Oh, here, this is John. This is the guy who sent it. This is, he sent it to me. Don't blame me afterwards. <laughs> oh, Brian says, no! <laughs> hey, is Barn Door in here? Of course, Barn Door shows up as soon as we're drinking Obtainium. But that's what all they suggested. Why is this? Look, okay, so here we go. Donnie says, dink it and sink it. Okay, and then immediately it, after, it. Jeffrey Wack comes in and says, Chug it, Mama. Sug it, Trev. There we go. Chug it, Mama. See, we got it. We got it. So you have to say that. You have to say that whole phrase. Chug it, Mama. Sug it, Trev. <laughs> Trev. <laughs> Dink it. Dink it. Sink it. Sink it. I can see colors. I can see colors. <laughs> okay. I can taste colors. Wow. How does that make you feel? That's like, okay. That I know you. like instant curl. We are literally killing the cold right now. We are killing the cold. Ed, that's Wait. the only reason Ed is here. Is to see you drink Obtainium. I think she likes it. I I kind of think I like the Russells better, but that's. Here's it, the thing. Heck, you know what? You know what? I don't, honestly, you know what I don't like about this. What? Now this comes from someone that doesn't drink a lot of bourbon. I do not like the aftertaste. I did not feel a bad aftertaste with the Russells, but this one Hold on. is not quite a good aftertaste. Something's about to pop up on the screen, and we have to watch it. Is this going to tell us why? This is going to tell us something. Something. It's Stephen Holt's Claw. Oh. Everyone just, we're waiting on Stephen Holt's Claw's fireworks. <laughs> He's lighting the fuse right now. I I see it. Everyone should see it, but there we go. There Stephen we go. Holt's Claw. Yay. $100 super chat. Oh, from Stephen. Stephen Holt's Claw. Says, Mexico monies. Have fun on vacay, buddy. Yes. Stephen Holt's Claw. Gosh dang it. I don't know if, you know, I should have just kissed you when we met in Hot Springs, but... 
Stephen Holtzclaw might be one of the most incredible human beings on this planet. And now he's trying to get me to spend that money on tequila. I know he is. <laughs> tequila. Chug, Trev, new phrase for a T. Chug it and sug, sug it. it. That is good. Oh my gosh. Be on the lookout. As soon as I get home from vacation, it's going on. There's going to be a shirt. Chug it and sug it. Oh, and then someone else comes in. Donnie! Did you see all those fireworks? I love fireworks. So he says, I have to refresh because I missed it. Donnie says, buy Miss Wrench some margaritas and don't use the cheap tequila. No, can't do cheap tequila. No. There we go. She she will be very happy to hear that because, I mean, I don't know. She just, uh, I, I might be a little cheap steak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm okay with the bottom shelf stuff. Miss Rich might not be, but now she's not going to experience it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What did I do? Okay, I'm, we're good. We're good. Let me make sure. Let me check the chat. Okay, Nick Foles really wants us to drink E.H. Okay, Taylor Barrel more. Proof. One more. And one more. This has to be your it. last one. Okay. One you have, to, you have to drive me later. Oh, yeah. Oh. You're good. Okay. Two, this is a pretty rare bottle. Okay. And I had to know someone to get this. So, you see now my finger? this one? It's right. See my finger on the screen? Okay, I'm following you. It's right. Look on the screen. Okay. It's right there. Right there? Yep. Right there. Right there. Oh, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick oh, Foles wins. Okay, the red or the green? No, 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 the green. Oh, this one right here. It does not have the lid on it. I do not. I think the lid is over here. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> good, huh? Sherry's back. Hello, Sherry. Sherry is another one of our long time legends so we're gonna try some here hold it back that was in focus right right there yeah e.h taylor mama wrench holding up freaking e.h taylor barrel just chugging it oh we got another oh my god fred's friday at fred's a 50 dollars. so what are y'all doing he said have some tequila on fred whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. i'm gonna have to teach you something because you almost just gave me a heart attack. Okay, what do I do? You pull it straight up. Up. Why? You never... What you were doing, okay. doing this... Yeah. You're going to break the cork right in half. Okay, we don't want to break up. the cork. Okay, up. Try it again. Okay. Here we go. Practice. Practice mode. Straight okay. up. And you can twist and go up. Up. Yay. There we go. I saw her like freaking bending it. Oh, she's chugging. No, she's not. What's up, the Mashville Stanley Wags? What are you freaking doing, brother? There you go. And then do the same in that one. She's okay. a pro at pouring. Here, you take that one. There's more in that one. Okay. Yeah, just. We're just flip flopping. So we're drinking Mama Wrench. <laughs> some E.H. Taylor barrel proof, so. Okay. Then this is my last one. Yeah, this is your last one. I have to drive you to your destination. Got to drive me to the destination bourbon. Yep. Not to Mike Klein's house. Y'all have a good week, and hopefully when you see me again, I'll, this will be gone. And I'll look more like his sister. Not his grandma. Oh, come on. Here's to a good vacation. Good vacation good full vacation. of tequila. Thanks full to tequila. freaking Steven, the Fred's crew, and Donnie. And yeah. everyone else who has super chatted and donated tonight. It's all going to tequila. I'm Here's sorry. Here's to tequila. Here's to tequila. Okay. Tequila. Tequila. So, tequila. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to keep chugging. Chug it. Suck it. 
Okay. Ready, guys? Chug it. Sug it. <laughs> Ooh, I saved a little bit of mine. That's good. All right. Before you go, pick me one more. We have fit. I have fifteen minutes, so one more. One more. Just go pick oh, one. Oh wow, that was. Oh. That one was rough. Yeah, it's rough. um. Sixty-five point one five percent alcohol. Yep, that one's got the lungs on fire. So just go pick me. A closer bottle, any bottle. Okay. It doesn't matter. I don't. I don't care. Just pick one. Pick one. And then bring me the bottle. Okay. Don't want to be one. Any of them. Any of them. Doesn't matter what shelf it's on. Just you just pick one, Mama Wrench. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, we've been talking about this a little bit. She said we've been talking about this one a little bit. Well, Talking about old Jack a little bit. Oh shoot. We have to give Jack some credit for some of this. Good old Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. This is a store pick. Did that do good? You did good. You did good. So people asked for this earlier, so they did. That's what's next for me. Okay, is that good for you? Yep. Hold on, and then um, Richie, his 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 fireworks will show up, but he he gave ten dollars. Freaking Richie, you're amazing. Enjoy your vacation, and your mama is so cool. Thank you. So I had you had to, and there's his fireworks. That's so cool. Thank you, Richie. Yeah, Richie. Richie's a good dude. So right. I got, do I got to taste this one too? No, no, no. You don't have to taste this okay. one. You can go do... Y'all have a wonderful night. Love you guys. See you soon. Yep. Okay. See you soon. We'll see you soon. Okay. There's Key Lime. Jack Daniels goes really good with Key Lime Pie. Does that mean it goes good with you? You and One Lime at a Time having a good time right now, let me tell you. Night, Mama Wrench, and then, oh, Drew, great meeting you, Wing Mom. I'm telling you, Mama Wrench will be back. She loves doing this. It's kind of weird. She just has a good time. What's up, Zachary Jones? Yep, everyone, totally unplanned. Um, I heard some noise out there, but she's 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 bringing me, she's, she's taking me later, um, to my destination. Got to be up early, so she's my ride out of here. Right after the stream, straight to straight to vacation, baby. So she came over to um, uh, escort me. <laughs> I got her, <laughs> got her drinking obtainium. Oops. One lime at a time. Best Friday nights ever. Heck yeah. So she picked for my last bottle before vacation. Um, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. And, and matter of fact, um, Orif was taught asking me, no, Orif, I have this bottle, brother, and we're drinking it next. So I still have a little bit of my E. H. Taylor barrel proof because she just chugs it. I pour her. Very little, though, so her chug isn't chugging a full pour because that would be bad. Where is that Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof from? This is from Liquor Junction Dram Hound. Dram Hound. He, he's been very busy. He has a small child, an infant, a baby, some would call it. But he sent this to me, so freaking love him. This came from Dramhound. I know he's here somewhere. He's here in spirit. Donald Rance, his fireworks are going to show up. Take my funny money. Sorry, eh? Cheers, sir. Haven't seen you in Discord. Donald Rance. Dude, we need to get back. And by we, I mean me. 
We need to get in the Discord. We need to chat. Next, well, I say next Wednesday I'll be on vacation. I'll get in there with you, Donald. I freaking love you. Love our conversations over there. Julie, like you just missed Mama Wrench. Mama Wrench. Gosh dang it, Julie, you missed it. We had Mama Wrench on the channel. She was chugging this. She was chugging this. She's a freaking fiend. She's in here just killing bottles. 30 minutes ago. <laughs> but yes, we... You know, Miss Wrench and I are going to have a great friggin' time. All right, let me finish this E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof because we got to get on to the last bottle of the night. And, uh... 877 Mesh now's in here! JG, sug it! Here we go, guys. Jack Daniels, single barrel barrel proof. Let's do it. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Um, this was totally unplanned. Like, having people just show up. Mama Wrench wasn't supposed to show up. Everyone who hopped on the channel was not supposed to show up. We're just, we just go with it. Um, we're on vacation. We're having fun. Um, I need to pour more than that. I'm no puss. Hold on. Julie Like just got some fireworks. Hold on, Julie. I'll make it happen. <laughs> I'm waiting for your fireworks, but $25, Julie Like, that is going to tequila. No, bring her back. Let's see if she comes back. She might come back. She probably, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I heard, the, I heard the phone in there make a ding. Hey, I had no plans for tonight. I was just going to come hang out with you guys, but I missed last Friday, so... We're just coming to hang out. I got a bright and early morning tomorrow. We got a flight to catch. Ooh, this Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. So good. Ooh. Where's Mama Wrench when we need her? Oh, shoot. Ooh. Guys, we have a problem. You're going to have to... We have five minutes left. You're going to have to excuse me for about 30 seconds, okay? You're, you're going to have to excuse me. I'll explain in a minute. I've had to piss for the past one hour. <laughs> and I, I just could not hold it any longer, guys. I'm sorry. Mama Ranch making me chug stuff. I, this is how it goes. <laughs> I mean, it, 
Guys, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. Like, I almost left her. Like, hey, you handle the stream. I gotta go. <laughs> Barn Dory, Tito. Good to see you. <laughs> Obtainium is a de deceptively sweet. It's like butterscotch to me. Or at least this one. It's like a butterscotch bomb. <laughs> yep, you guys knew. You guys knew. I've done it. I've done it before, uh, Roy. I used to keep a bottle in my car. Just sometimes it just happens. And yes, I did mute. I muted just for you, Johnny. All right, let's get into this uh, uh, Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof. 12 for 2019. So this is from 2019. Oh, it's so good. Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof. Absolutely not, Jerry Black. We, we didn't have time for that. It's fine. This is a high enough alcohol, it'll kill everything. Oof. Look, man. In the army, I was a... Fun, fun story in the last three minutes. I was a driver at one point in our striker unit. You could... I could not get out of the tank. Like... We had if we had to stop and they were doing a I couldn't just get out of the out of the truck and go pee. So I kept a huge Gatorade bottle and I would pee in it all day and then when we did stop, I would just pour it out the side, you know, and refresh it. You just can't get out. Is the friggin' man here? Keep it going. I have a power outage. Not sure when I will when it will come back. Well, here's the thing. I can't go too much longer because we I am going on vacation. Come here. Julie like wants to see you. Okay, let me fix my You don't have to do anything but just be seen. Julie like said, "Where's Mama Wrench?" Hello, Julie. Julie, where are you at? And then ADHD Whiskey Matt just showed up. Well, hello, Matt. What's up, Matt? Yeah. Is this what you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> okay, till next week. Maybe. Next week. Let's do it next week when next we come back. Next week. When we come back, we'll have a... Well, you've got to tell us all about this vacation. And then I'll be feeling better. She says, hey. And then we'll go from there. So yeah, next week, because we will oh, be Julie. back. We I will be back for next Friday's stream. She will be you here. Will. Friday, you'll be back Friday? Yes. We're not staying all the way till Sunday. Okay. I thought you were. We're okay. staying like five five or six days, so okay. we'll be back before 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 Friday. So we will I will be on stream Friday. Okay. She will be here. She's already a it, all right, and I'm we'll committed. tell we'll I'll talk all about it, and she will pick my drinks the entire stream. So that's what we're doing. My, I can bring my own, right? Yes, you can okay. bring your sangria. Okay, here's to sangria and vacation. Yep. All right. <laughs> there we go. We're going to Cancun, all inclusive resort in Cancun. Bags are packed. I'm. That's why we can't go too much longer. I'm sorry for Matt's power outage, but we have to. I have to wake up early with with Miss Wrench to go to the airport. We'll go. We'll go a couple more minutes. I gotta finish this glass and then we'll end. Okay, no other glass. No, she good. She good. What's up, Scotch Down Under? Working and lurking. Hey, Julie, you asked for it. I I deliver. That's how it works. Hey, Amy, prom picks. Fine. 
The prom pics, though, aren't, like, embarrassing or anything. The creator of Wee Willie Wilson. <laughs> yeah. I heard another glass. Shut up. Look, man, if any other night that Matt's power could go out, he picked the worst night. David Cooper. What's up, Trev? What's up, David? Got my hands on Maker's 46 cask strength. Excited to try it. Friggin' open it up. What are you doing, David? It's Friday. Go open it up. Right now. I'm just enjoying this Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Don't sleep on this bottle. So good. I'm still mad. So if you guys watched my episode of Matt Madness. <laughs> he sent me a sample of Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. And I called it. Finished whiskey. It's got a wine. It's got a wine finish to it, or something. Did I just see inexperienced whiskey, new guy? I sure freaking did. What are you doing? Get in here. Where you been? We need a GoFundMe for. A generator for Matt. How do you even have that? Mexico's power grid's better than Colorado's. Chug some water for us. Is it finished in banana barrels? Banana. Banana nut bread. Delicious. Let me scroll back up. Matt should go live from his basement on his phone, just like his Walking Dead video. Just like the old days. How many people were there for the old days? Who are the OGs? Who remembers... Who remembers when he... How should I say this? Matt Porter had a live stream... Long story short, he was banished from going live and his twin brother was going live for him in the basement. Who was there for that? Who was there for that? It was not Matt. It was uh, his twin brother. What's up, Thrasher? Matt in the basement. <laughs> yeah, I don't think a lot of people were there for that one. His twin brother, Schmatt. <laughs> Nick Bowles literally watched the Junkies from since day one when they were in the garage with Hort. Yeah, they were filming, like, with their freaking phone. <laughs> nope. You were you were horribly mistaken, Jamie. Oh, we got another sip left in us. We'll go until nine ten. And for real, I have to go. I'm going to another country with Miss Wrench. And I cannot make her mad. The night we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, but I, I can't make her mad. She's probably watching right now. Don't forget your passport. It's I'm tell, it's right there. I'm ready. I'm freaking good to go. So, yes, um, we will be back. Um, next Friday, we will go live with Mama Wrench. Um, stream from the plane. <laughs> I will, so everyone who's on the Patreon, I know a lot of you in here are on the Patreon page. I will, I will consistently be posting, um, 
drunken vacation <laughs> stuff. So, um, if you're over there, if you're not on there, I recommend you check it out. You don't have to join, but we do have tons of awesome rewards. So, you're getting you're getting your money's worth. I throw glasses at you like they're going out of style. So, if that's your thing, check it out. Um, but I will keep all of you patrons updated on our on our vacation for sure. And Miss Wrench will be there. She will only allow herself to be seen on Patreon. So if you want to see some hot buns and shirtless me, um, m mostly shirtless her, there you go. Come back with the best cocktail list. I what do you what do you mean cocktail list? I'm gonna be drinking freaking margaret. It's it's all inclusive. So it's gonna be whatever they bring me. I'm gonna say bring me this. I'm thirsty. Gosh dang right, Ed. I freaking love you. Mark, Mark Royland, we're waiting for his fireworks. We have three minutes. We have three minutes, and I want to have a little bit more. See how much I can cram in three minutes. There we go. There's Mark. Mark, love the passion, Trev. I love you, Mark. Um, Mark, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Guarantee you that $10 will feed Miss Wrench a lot of margaritas down in Mexico. That's what we're doing. So, I'm dedicating every super chat that we got tonight, and or mega chat, is going to Miss Wrench's, um, what's the word? Alcohol extravaganza. In Mexico. <laughs> Drew Furstenberger, have we not been entertained? Drew, freaking love you, and I I don't even know if I'm saying your last name right, but I freaking love you. For Forstenberger. Drew Forstenberger. Doing a little we're just gonna we'll we'll keep going a little bit. Miss Wrench hasn't checked on me. Let's text Miss Wrench right now. We just texted her. We'll see how long we can go before I have to go over there. Bets that Wrench has a sugar high, then a sugar crash after those sugary resort cocktails. We'll see. We'll see how if I can keep up. First... First tin burger or dare to burger. First dare to burger. Here we go, Ed Cummings. Isn't that a song? Hold on. Ed Cummings coming in with the fireworks. Here's the thing, Ed. So you're. Your one tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor, unfortunately, if you think about it, um, when you do a, here's the, the thing, I don't know, I, I'm sure everyone knows this, but with Super Chats, Google will only gives me those one time a month. So that, Ed... What I'm dedicating all of the super chats tonight to Miss Wrench next month <laughs> when Google gives it to me and I will get her inebriated on tequila somewhere. The mega chats tonight 100% are going this weekend <laughs> to her. That's what we're doing. Ed, so next month, you're welcome. You're on Patreon. You'll see it. <laughs> Drew says, where's the Patreon link? Get him the Patreon link. 
I did Ben coming in. Screw Google. That's gosh dang right. Screw Google. Tequila Patreon only live. DC, so I'm not going to be bringing my camera. To, I don't. I just don't want to bother with it. Um, but I might. I mean, to be honest, I might just do a Patreon live from my phone. Because we will have a significant amount of alcohol. So we'll probably want to do it. So be on the lookout. I, I will convince her. And then Ed Cummings coming back. How about Joe Nichols' tequila makes her clothes come off? There we go, Ed. There we go. All right, there we go. Donnie's dropping it. There you go. Where's Donnie? Donnie, there we go. And it explains everything. If you want to know what kind of rewards we have, we 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 got some pretty cool rewards. I'm I'm not trying to brag, but but I bring it. One more. 912. Miss Wrench texted me, are you done? Are you done? Yes. About to leave. Here in a few. Someone quick, pick me another drink. <laughs> Quick! Drew! Drew just became a Patreon! We got... Drew! First in burger! Join in the Patreon page, let's freaking go. What's up, Liberty Not Licensed? You just showed up just in time. Gosh dang it, Austin Feltz, still waiting. You gotta. Rem I was just thinking about that the other day, and by the other day I mean today, because I put your coin aside. Um, do you, st Austin, by chance, do you still have the box that I sent you? Because I, I'm not saying that this happened to you, but a lot of people that I've sent boxes to with the coins, the coin actually slipped through the bottom of the box and they had to cut the bottom tape to find it. Ridiculous. Hey, Drew, it's all fine. Um, it doesn't matter what you give me. I appreciate your support and I hope you enjoy. Um, I try, I'm, try to do really cool rewards and at the very least, I try and do extra live streams and, and crap. I show Miss Wrench off. Uh, that's worth it alone, to be honest. Steve A's here. Guys, I have one drink. Give me one drink. I have one more drink and then I, I literally have to go because she's, she's asking. So give me one more. Oh, Liberty Not License says Maker's Mark Any. Did I get a big in coin? Donnie, you should. We'll figure it out. You should. I don't know. If you if you are supposed to get a reward and you haven't gotten it, like Roger D today said, hey, I haven't gotten it, and I checked and it freaking was lost in the mail, you need to let me know. Because I've sent everything out. Except for you, Donnie. You you're hand delivered. John K, you're leaving. Nuts! <laughs> What's up, John? He Heather Keller, old Forrester. Ooh. I don't know. I was going to say old Forrester, but then I saw Nick Foles say something finished. No. We, I'm, I'm going with Heather's. Because I've had a Makers tonight, and I've done something Nick Foles has already told me to do. So I'm going with Heather. I'm going to get an Old Forester product, and that's and it's something that I want to drink because I'm on vacation, and I pick what I want to drink. 
Yeah, I know. That's why we're we're going after this. <laughs> All right, let's go get this one last bottle. We're ch we'll cheers, we'll drink it, and we'll head on out. Freaking love you guys. Let me go get this last bottle. Here we go. Old Forester, 100 proof, single barrel store pick. Absolutely love this bottle. So, if there's a bottle that's going to send me on vacation, it's this one. Because I freaking love this bottle. And it's got a cool sticker on it. Can you read that? Popping bottles in the ice like a blizzard. When we drink, we do it right, getting slizzard. Now I'm feeling fly like a G6, but one notch better. This bottle came out when we were in the middle of a freaking snowstorm blizzard in Arkansas, which is not a thing. We don't get blizzards. So the, this released in the middle of a blizzard, so they threw on a cool sticker. Ooh. What's up, Moose? What the heck is up? <laughs> you can't quit us, Trev. <laughs> drinking some Maker's... Tim, drinking Maker's FAE 01, was very disappointed in this bottle. What? Tim, just go ahead and send the rest of the bottle this way, brother. I'll dispose of it for you. So this is for Heather. She said, Old Forester, I hope this satisfies you, Heather. Friggin' love you. No blizzards, but we can hit some deer with Hondas. DC, you can go sug it, brother. <laughs> What's up, Brent Bailey? Hungover picture in the backseat of airplane or it didn't happen. Oh, listen here, screw. Listen here, screw. You're on the Patreon. You'll see it. I'm going to document everything over on the Patreon page. So I'm sorry if I blow up your phone. But that's, you want to see my journey? That's where it's going to be. Uh, the aftermath will be, I'll post some stuff on Instagram for all of you non-Patreon people. Love you too. You'll see it though. I'll post a photo from the plane tomorrow morning. With some wild turkey in my glass. Freaking try me. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. This is good. This is dang good. These 100 proof, so I still don't have... Here's the thing, I'm going to just go ahead and call you out. If someone can find me a bottle of the barrel proof, email me, and um, we will negotiate. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then... You know what I'm saying? Barrel proofs pick. Let me know. We'll work it out. But I can all I only got the hundred proof. And it's freaking good. In fact, I've tried a sample of the barrel proof, and this is better than the sample of the barrel proof I've had. So there's that. What year? This came out this year. No, no, no. What year is it? Yeah, this came out this um, in like February of this year. We had like a snowstorm, and this is it came out then. Yeah, this I mean this one is better than the samples I've had for sure. You're gonna be on the news with the Marshalls dragging you off. Nope. Moo, it's been a while. Your set's looking good. We're growing. Um, there's works, there's going to be maybe even a better set coming in the, I wouldn't say near future, future enough. 
Do you often get chided for outkicking your coverage? I don't know what that means. I might be a little bit too inebriated to know what that means. Drew Furstenberger. The okay, Kevin. The barrel proofs, and again, just the sample that I've tried one sample. Um, what was I gonna say? The barrel proof is they drink very freaking hot. They're like drinking lava. Okay, they are very hot drinking. This one hundred proof, I feel like is. The perfect, compared to the barrel proof samples I've had, the hundred proof is the perfect balance. So, all right, I'm falling you now. I'm not good at charades, but I think he wants to sug a bottle. <laughs> Forrester. Yes. It's good. Okay, Old Forester 100, the regular bottle that's like 20 bucks, amazing. This pick, 100 proof, also amazing in a different in a different way. No, 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 that's probably next vacation. That's next time we go to Cancun. How do you guys know this? You freaking where are y'all get? Where are you guys from? Where are y'all from? That ain't no southern saying. Donnie, freaking love you. Miss Rich and I will be seeing you very soon. Don't you worry. We will be making a trip up there. We have some bottles to get. We want. I need some Chattanooga. Matt ain't going until nine forty-five your time if the power comes on. I, I'm telling you, I'm I'm gonna hop off at 9:30, so seven minutes. I'm I'm sorry, for sure. That gives you 15 minutes to go rehydrate. Um, because I have to go. I have to go. I have to catch a. I have to catch a flight. Ignoring the question, answer confirmed. <laughs> I need to go make Mama wrench that. I literally, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. SEC country, most definitely a saying down there. Dude, I've, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I'm just, maybe I don't get out enough, man. I literally have no, I've never heard that saying. And everyone in the chat's like, you idiot. He hasn't married that beautiful young lady already? T-Rev, you always seem so intelligent. What is wrong with you? She's the one, bro. So, I'm Liberty Not License. I'm glad you say that. Because you've seen Miss Wrench. A lot of people haven't seen Miss Wrench. Um, she only comes on Patreon live streams for reasons that we will discuss on Patreon, but not over here. But, man, she's awesome. You guys have seen it. She's good. Tolv Thomas. I don't know if I've said your name in my chat. Life sentence to those idiots who caused us not to drink on planes anymore. Wait, what? They don't have wild turkey on the plane? I haven't been on a plane in, in five years, especially since COVID. So there's no drinking? I need to drink enough right now that I'm still drunk when I wake up to go to the plane. That's all I'm going to say. They better have freaking... If I'm flying to another country, they better have some Wild Turkey 101. Donnie says, I have met Miss Wrench in, in person, and she is even more awesome in person. I think she is, too. 
Oh God, Mike Stahl's got me scared. May he goes, maybe on international flights. Oh crap. It's freaking Oprah's fault. Take those sample bottles in your carry-on so long as meets F F FAA regs, then you can get tanked in the airport. I'm just going to bring a flask and just kill it and then go into the airport. Last time I drank whiskey on a plane, it didn't end well. The flight, they had to crash land. I'm canceling the trip. We are taking, I think it's Delta. I think we're flying Delta the whole way. So Delta, you better not freaking fail me. Pieces of crap. Why would they do that? Shut up! Screw! Hey! So, in our last few minutes, explain to me what duty-free shops are. I don't even know what that is. So if I... Where are they? They're in the airport? Like, I'm telling you, if, if, they, if, I, fly, if I land in Cancun and they got freaking some Blantons, I'll buy some. I'll kill the bottle before we come back. What's up, Tony H? He says, winch! Toonie, good to see you. Bourbon for bacon, for one, never said your name here, welcome. Tax free, but they're in the airport? That's what I meant, is like, it's in the airport? Josh Randall, the next Brave game is on me, let's go. I've already, I've been talking to Will Henderson. I will 100% come to Atlanta and we will go to a Braves game. So, Josh, you have to go with me and Will. And you. They are in the airport. When you fly out of country, what you buy in the duty-free shops are free from import duty when you bring them home. Wow, okay. So I need to go walk around the airport and find the alcohol. Buy stuff on the way back from Mexico. Yes, duty-free in airports. Orif, I have been into multiple airports. Here's the thing. When I was doing all of my flying, when I was in the army, I was under 21. So while, yes, I could drink in Germany, I could not buy alcohol in the airport. So that was not a thing. Um, so there's that. Here's the thing, though. In... German airports I could still drink so we would get we would drink before we got on our plane to leave Germany but once we got to the states that that wasn't a thing anymore I was still like 20 I couldn't drink I I enlisted in the army when I was 17 man I'm, shoot I don't care I, I'm gonna try it I will see In airport, but usually... Andrew Kelly, for one, hello. In airport, but usually in departure terminals. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to go explore. I mean, I have no idea. International travelers can buy bottles without tax and bring them back to their home country. Oftentimes, there will be certain bottles that can only be bought at duty-free. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, I'm, I'm just really... I don't know. I'm I want to bring some bourbon down to to Mexico. They're going to they're not going to they're going to have Jim Beam. Crappy German beer, no, nah, man. Blanton straight from the barrel, duty free? If it is, Blanton's gold, I know. Oh, Tony's drinking some Cooper's Craft. Absolute hitter. It's such a good bottle. <laughs> Screw. 
You're so cute. You know who's cute? You. You're cute. Hey, I'll, I'll, here's the thing. Okay. Excuse my ignorance. I'm, I'm, please, for real, I'm, I'm being serious. I don't know these things. If I fly into the airport and like, are they going to have straight from the barrel? Cause I will buy it and I will kill the bottle in Mexico. I don't freaking care. So. Where, okay, let me ask this. Where in the airport are these duty-free shots? Like, can you, like, they're obvious? I know, guys. I'm. I, let me ask this and I'll go. Drew, I'm, in my airport, there's absolutely none, but I'm flying to Atlanta. I'm flying out of Atlanta to Cancun, so... Atlanta's got to have it. So, in the main terminal, like, it, is it going to be on the sign? If I can find a sign, will it tell me this is where the alcohol is? You know what I'm saying? Duty free. They're under the sign that says duty free. I know Atlanta has at least one duty free. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. We'll get it. All right, it's 9.30, guys. I got to go. Um, cheers. Love you guys. All of you patrons, you will... I'll keep you, I'll keep you in the loop. You will see our drunken journeys. Everyone else, I will see you next Friday with Mama Wrench, and we will be discussing our trip. So next Friday, we're going to be drinking, um, talking about the trip. Patrons, you will see the trip. So there's that. Um, love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, everyone who super chatted, mega chatted, freaking eeny chatted. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Um, O'Riff said, please don't post shirtless pictures of you. I will cover myself up, but I will make sure to show a lot of Miss Wrench. So there's that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, but for real though, love you guys. I will see you guys next week, or I will see you in the next, um, in the next live stream. Wherever I see you, I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um... Here we go. Vacation, baby. All right. See you guys.